so here we are, back with both heroes of this amazing tiebreak. And yeah, well, I used to have this sour joke that, uh, well, it's a special kind of tournament, this knockout, because at the closing ceremony you have only two players and one of them is unhappy. But once again, thanks guys, it was amazing performance. Uh, so, thoughts on uh, what was going on, and yeah, I mean, it felt like you, you were both very tired, of course, some, some mistakes that are uh, not easy to explain. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, tiebreak is, of course, uh, a long, uh, long ordeal, and uh, of course it's difficult to play on the highest level, especially after two weeks of uh, uh, nervous, you know, tension and uh, fights. Yeah, and Shah, what was uh, what was going through your head when Maxim once again came back? Yeah, and so, so it feels like okay, now you won with black, and it's only draw needed, and then once again, it's another game. Yeah, it's, of course, it was very interesting, and I think it's a very good match. Uh, Maxim uh, uh, back two time. I mean, he win two time with black, with white. With, uh, and it was also uh, uh, it's, it was very important for me. Uh, uh, just I play very bad uh, is Italian lines in classical chess, but in rapid blitz I play for myself very good. I mean I, I play good, but in uh, classical I play very very bad. Uh, and uh, I think Maxim played very good tournament uh, here and uh, won first three matches very. Good uh, and uh, only just against me, uh, I got chance to play tiebreak. And is every time I think like it when you play very good tournament, when you play tiebreaks first tiebreaks is every time problems. Is I remember is, uh, when Topolov played in triple Levy. Yeah, he yeah. I played. thought of the same when Veselin yeah, Topolov yeah. uh, showed some amazing performance yeah. in Libya and 2004 and first, then the uh, first first tiebreak and he. And you also in Hanti 2009. Yes. Me also, yeah. In 2009, I won uh, four match and the first tiebreak and also uh, no, not first tiebreak, but I mean next. But it sometimes happens. Same, but in this tournament, it's only seven results uh, games. I mean, uh, just seven wins. Yeah, and uh, four for Maxim, three for me. Yeah. Yeah, the, we, we were praising you for this, guys. So you seem to be the most uh, fighting players, yeah, and that, yeah. that was this final just kept us entertained. And, and uh, very important moment, I think, in a rapid uh, second game when Maxim played with White, he got his chance to win. But he, he okay, we played. Yeah, well. I mean, I think we all both had chances. Uh, yeah. You had some chances in the 10 minutes game, so yeah, uh, yeah it was just yeah, a tense fight. That could have gone either way. Yeah, it's just, I don't, I don't even want to, you go, to, to torture you guys with analyzing those games. That's, of course, one, one heartbreaking tiebreak. Uh, well, so it's all over now, but I, as I understand, if I understand correctly, like the life of chess professional is such that you will play in like uh, three days, four days? Yes, mm -hmm. and yeah. actually in three days, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you go to Paris to play one of the Grand Chess Tour events. Yeah, you right. came from one of the Grand Chess Tour events in Croatia, and now you go to Paris. So, uh, well, I don't know what to what to add to this. Once again, thanks uh, thanks a lot from chess community. It was a outstanding performance. Thanks very much. Thank you. And Thank you. Thank good you. luck in the next you know in the next stages. You both seem to have still have chances to qualify. So we'll pray for a really short for a couple of ads and we'll be back to wrap up the show.